In this video, I'll show you how to write net ionic equations for acid-base precipitation and gas forming reactions. The first step is to determine which one of these reactions you're dealing with. I'll use the ABCD model, assuming A and C are cations and B and D are anions. The idea behind the ABCD model is that you switch the ion members in the pairs. So cation A would combine with anion D, and cation C would combine with anion B. And at that point, you would analyze A, D, B, C to determine what type of products you would have. The first example is to write a net ionic equation for a reaction that occurs between hydroiodic acid and sodium hydroxide. The first step is to identify the type of reaction. Make sure you have correct formulas, then write a balanced chemical equation. Well, it's clear in this case that it's an acid-base reaction. So if we follow the a, B, C, D model. We switch the ions. The hydrogen and HI would be combined with the hydroxide, and that would form water. Also, it's very important to write the state of your reactants and your products. The next step is to write the total ionic equation. Break apart all aqueous species, leaving intact liquids and gases. In this case, we'll leave water intact as H2O, but break apart all of the aqueous compounds. The final step is to cross out the so-called spectator ions, those ions that appear on both sides of the arrow or both sides of the chemical equation. Then rewrite the net reaction. In this case, it's a hydrogen ion and a hydroxide ion making water. And for all strong acid, strong base reactions, the net ionic equation will reduce to a hydronium ion and a hydroxide ion producing water. Next, we'll look at a reaction between lead 2 nitrate and chromium 3 sulfate. The first step is to follow the ABCD model and switch ion partners to get lead sulfate and chromium nitrate. Now it turns out that lead sulfate is a precipitate and chromium nitrate is a soluble ionic compound. To determine if one of your products is a precipitate, Use a solubility table, such as the one I show here. A sulfate is one of the products, and in the top part of this table, salts of sulfates are generally soluble, with the exception of calcium, strontium, barium, and lead. In this case, we have lead, so that would suggest that lead sulfate is an insoluble compound, therefore a precipitate. Regarding the nitrate, so salts of nitrates are all soluble, and there's no exceptions. So chromium nitrate is a soluble compound. After you've balanced the equation, next write the total ionic equation. Notice lead sulfate is left intact, and we break apart the other ionic compounds and their constituent ions. And finally, we could write the net ionic equation. Notice that I use the simplest whole number ratio for the reactants and the product. One lead reacts with one sulfate to produce lead sulfate. You'll come across three compounds that when produced are unstable in water form gases. They are carbonic acid, sulfurous acid, and ammonium hydroxide. Look at each reaction and apply the conservation of mass. In the first reaction, carbonic acid, there's two hydrogens on the left 
and there's two hydrogens on the right in the water molecule. One carbon and one carbon on the right in the carbon dioxide. The carbon dioxide molecule on the right has only two oxygen atoms. The carbonate ion on the left has three oxygens. Well, that third oxygen went to the water on the right. Similarly, sulfurous acid breaks down into sulfur dioxide and water. And finally, ammonium hydroxide, the ammonium turns into ammonia and water is also produced. Another gas forming reaction is sodium sulfide reacting with a strong acid. In this case, we'll show it reacting with hydrochloric acid, but any strong acid will do. The resulting products are dihydrogen sulfide and the salt, in this case, sodium chloride. These four reactions are the common gas forming reactions you will come across in this course. Here, you're asked to write the net ionic equation for the reaction between sodium sulfite and hydrochloric acid. First, follow the ABCD model, switch the paired ions, and write the balanced equation. After doing so, you'll notice one of the products is sulfurous acid, one of the unstable compounds I described earlier. This compound immediately decomposes into sulfur dioxide and water. Therefore, we could rewrite the chemical equation as follows. The two compounds reacting, the acid and the sulfite, to produce sulfur dioxide, water, and sodium chloride. And realize that this is a gas forming reaction. Next, we'll write the total ionic equation, followed by the net ionic equation, after we cross out the spectator ions. We see that we're left with two moles of acid reacting with one mole of sulfite to produce sulfur dioxide and water.